the rug, mate. I want you to promise me something. Hey, go for it, mate. When I die, I want you to feed my body to the crocs. You crook or something? No, mate. I'm just saying, if I die... What, like an accident? Whatever, mate. It doesn't matter. But I'm dead, right? You can come off your horse or something. <laughs> I haven't got a fucking horse, Rod. No. No. Look, start again, right? And for argument's sake... Sleep off. Mate! Will you let a man finish? Sorry, mate. I was only trying Look, to help. Look, it's a, a spiritual thing. I want you to cut me up and feed me to the crocs. After you die. After I die. Huh? Yeah, okay, mate. <coughs> Same goes for me, mate. What's that, mate? Well, you know, when I die. The crocs and all that. I want you to cut me up, feed me to him. Yeah, right, mate. If that's what you want. Well, that's what you want, mate. Jesus, Rodney, get a mind of your own, mate. For fuck's sake. Dave? Dave, you stupid bugger. Did you, yeah, yeah, first break the weapon, then check the chamber. Break the weapon. I own I but I want. Oh, hub's open. I'm sorry, Dave. Excuse me, fellas. Rod's gonna find it hard. It's not gonna be easy with Dave gone. Who's gonna play halfback tomorrow? You're not gonna play footy the day after Dave's funeral. No. Well, we don't get a halfback. Mate, can't see the marks. You say something, Wade? Steady, Rod. Can't eat his. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, my son. We were just saying. He was a mate, Rod. Yeah, he was a mate, Rod. Top flight. Real top flight. Yeah, he's no mate of yours. We'll all miss him, Rod. Well, Ash. See you around then, Roddy, eh? Miss you, Dave. Well, 
one is Brogan. A beautiful light on the water this morning, ladies. To the right, you can see Jabiru and other waterfowl wading through the lilies. Gracefully winging low over the mighty Johnson River. Home to the famous Barramundi. And of course, the infamous and highly deadly Crocodilia porosus. Or the deadly saltwater crocodile. Now, as the end of the no creek. There are no life jackets. And they'll only slay you down, love. Now, as the end of the creek, you notice the dense overhead vegetation. Well, this is a favourite spot for the crocs because they like to lie under when? the branch. When? Is that one over there? Yeah, well, keep your pants on. I'll cut the engine and we'll be able to drift right up to it. Shh. Oh, there's the water. Oh, you can see Untouched wilderness, me arse. Bloody developers! <laughs> Talk about my birth characters in the outback. You meet them as you're traveling through the bush. There's bagmen, shearers, drovers, cooks. I reckon you could write a thousand books in the outback, in the outback of Australia. I asked an old Aboriginal bloke why they called him Gallopin' Jack. He told me a buffalo chased him one day on the Jim Jim track. Now the lowest limb on the only tree was 14 foot from the ground. Jack jumped for the branch and missed, but he caught it on the way down. Oh, talk about a mob of characters in the outback. You meet him as you're traveling through the bush. You find him, you find him in the scrub or they're drinking. They're drinking in the pub and if you don't watch out, you finish up. A member of the Cactus Club, oh, talk about a mob of characters in the outback. You meet them as you're traveling through the bush. There's bagmen, sharers, drovers, cooks, I reckon you could write a thousand books in the outback, 